Hi everyone, welcome back to GA Online Teaching. So, today we are going to continue with functions and we're going to determine the equation of my function of a straight line as well as a parabola. So, over here I have a straight line. I need to know what is the formula of a straight line and that would be y is equal to mx plus c. The next thing you need to know, what does M stand for? And that stands for my gradient, and we all know how to calculate gradients, don't we? If you don't, please track back to my previous videos and you'll find them over there. The next thing is, what does C represent? C represents my y-intercept. What does an intercept mean? Remember, when my graph or my line or my function touches my y-axis, or x-axis. In this case, it's a y-intercept, meaning where does it touch my y-axis. So, from the graph already, we can see that c is already going to be 4. The next thing is determining the gradient. Now, there's two ways to do it, the substitution method or actually calculating the gradient. So, the gradient, I'm going to do the second way. Determine the gradient of this line, and gradient means the steepness. So, determine, determine the gradient, I'll make this point number 1, I'll make this one point number 2, and I'll say, therefore, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus 5 over x1 minus 0, and this will be my gradient, minus 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 6 and minus 5 minus 0 is equal to negative 5. Notice how the negative divided by negative will be equal to a positive and if I look at my line it's going in a positive direction which means my gradient has to be positive. So once I find this one mark two mark and generally the question will be worth three marks and the third mark is write it in this form over here so therefore my third mark is y is equal to my gradient what's my gradient six over five x this can also be in decimal form and what is my intercept or y intercept or c value it is positive four and that would be my third mark over here, I have a parabola with two known points. One is zero, 3 and 0, and another is 0 and negative 9. So what's my formula? y is equal to ax squared plus q. But what do we know about our q? It would be my intercept over here. And I can already say that q is equal to negative 9. Okay, which is that point over there. Right? Negative 9, y in the set. So, I have the value of 9, I need to find the value of a. And with that, I'm going to substitute a point other than my y in the set, and this will be 3 and 0. So, what is my y value on my point on my graph? It is 0 is equal to a. What's my x value in my point? It is 3 and do not forget about squared and what's the value of q minus 9 so over here i need to now solve for a so if i have negative 9 over here on this side it's going to be positive 9 because inverse operation plus 9 what i do on the right hand side i need to do on my left hand side is equal to 3 squared is equal to 9 9 times a is equal to 9 a. So, remember this two, they make zero. So, divided by nine. What to do on the right hand side, I need to do on my left hand side. That divides, and I have a. This divides, nine divided by nine is equal to one, and the value of a is going to be equal to one. Your first mark, perhaps one mark for substitution, third mark, and your fourth mark, will be therefore y is equal to imaginary one I do not need to write it x squared and what's the value of q 
minus 9. So the equation of this graph over here is going to be x squared minus 9. With that being said, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GA Online Teaching. And until next time, which we are going to complete the function of hyperbola as well as the exponential graph. Thank you very much.